Okay, we will discuss about uh, bucket ACL and bucket policy. Bucket policy already clear, but even I will give a small example about bucket policy. Okay. So we'll discuss about bucket uh, ACL. So let's consider it's my bucket. Okay. So when I'm creating a bucket, I'll be have an option. I either I can create my bucket as a public or private, right? Mm -hmm. For a security purpose. If I want to make it like enhance the security, I can go with the private. If I want to make it public, the container, I can go with the public bucket. Exactly. So same as while I'm creating bucket, I'll be have another option. So this will be represent my bucket is a public or private. Okay. Public or private, the first layer. Okay. So I'll be have another option, bucket ACL. So bucket ACL is working bucket level and as well as object level. Okay, access control list. You can restrict the access of another user access. For example, if anybody is penetrating your bucket, anybody is trying to steal your objects, then you can avoid that situation or you can restrict the access. That's why you that's why we're using ACL, access control list. Okay. So when I'm creating a bucket, I'll be have object. So this object will be have ACL. Let me just show you that first this object will be have a ACL and this will be refers red color okay same as I'll be have a bucket ACL so that I will be refers blue color okay suppose if we want to make it public this object see first we have to remove yes. this ACL you have to disable it or you have you have to enable this ACL then you have to remove this bucket uh, public, public or private option you have to make it public then you have to come to this object you have to make it public so we have an option over there right so when when you clicking object will be have an option what make public ACA we have an option I'll show you that first I'll back to my bucket I'll create a bucket create bucket s3 new bucket 18 number I'll create this bucket in US Northern Virginia. So here you can see their object ownership. Yeah. So this is a bucket level ACL. We have to make it enable this. Okay. Okay. So here you can see that. Uh, where is my this? Okay. So this is my bucket ACL. Okay. If I back to this page, we'll be able to find block public or private option. Right. So here you can see that bucket public or private I, I need to make it public I need to enable this ACL where is my bucket okay. then I will back then I will acknowledge create a bucket so now I created a bucket as a public and I enable my ACL okay so now I will go to this bucket where is my bucket bucket name one, two, three. this one right I will open this upload add a file so I will add a file over here. Okay, architecture. <coughs> okay, I will add this image over there. Okay. So let me upload this image. Now you can see that I have a two files. One is architecture.txt, another one is load balancer. Uh, Hosted.jpg, right? If I open this, I'll I'll be get one access link. I can copy this, I can paste over here, and I'll be able to access. See, but I'm getting error. Why? Why? See, here you can see that I have a three layers. The first one is a bucket, we have to make it public, already we done. So second one we have to make it ACL enabled. So another one we have object ACL. Right. So that we have to make it public. Then only we will be able to access. If you forego to enable this or bucket ACL, then you would not be able to access your object is first we have to make it public our bucket we have to enable this ACL then we have to make it public our ACL object level ACL okay three layers if I go to my, my bucket if I go to my bucket so I'll go to actions where is actions object actions make public using ACL click over here make public so go to your object so this is my object I will try to refresh See, now I'm able to access three layers. So the first one is a make bucket, make bucket public. Second option is yes, ACL enable bucket ACL. The third option? Object. Object. Public. Exactly. So the problem will be like, uh, suppose if you have a hundred object inside this bucket, then each object you have to make it enable, right? So that is a difficult task. So that's what we use in bucket policy now. 
so if you if you using bucket policy if you have a thousand object in your bucket you can make it public everything at your time so for that we can use bucket policy and i will show you how we can do that i'll go to my bucket then i will add some object into my bucket okay i'll go to my bucket first i'll remove these two objects permanent delete so just consider if you have a thousand object then we cannot go each object right yeah. so we cannot go to each object and we cannot make it enable that is not possible okay acl actually we were using former in the sense like two to three years we were using acl okay it's already supplanted with the bucket policy now so now we only using bucket policy we not using bucket ac i'll show you how we can do that so now i don't have any bucket object over here right i will upload some object into this bucket so i'll go to desktop aws nodes okay so i will upload these seven files into my buckets okay so the first one is a index bar file index error file index 1 index 2 index 3 uh, last one list files so just drag and drop <coughs> upload i'll go to my object okay so the first one index bar file html right i will open this file first i'll be get one access link so i have to copy and i have to paste it over here i will paste it over here i'm not able to access my object right i'm not able to access uh, i'll go to second object what is the object name index error index error dot html right open a new link in a tag same as i will get another access link i will paste i'm not able to access okay so let me open all the objects first index 1.html index 2.html index 3.html see i am not able to access any files right see i am not able to access index bar index error index 1 index 2 index 3 so what i will do here i will go to my bucket so instead of making bucket acl enabling bucket acl i'll go to bucket policy so let's see how we can do that i'll go to permission i'll go to my bucket policy click edit uh just click add a new statement then i will put this principal okay i'll make it principal everyone action s3 all actions and resource so here i will enable all the object we have to copy this bucket here and paste same as i will just put a comma control v then slash star what does it mean slash star all object so the first one is a refers i will make it public our my bucket second one that is refers all objects okay star and we have to open wise square bracket over here same as here okay done okay so now save a change successfully saved i'll go to this object i will refresh see i'm able to access my index bar file if i go to this object i'll be able to access my index error file if i go to my index 1 i'll be able to access i'll be able to access i'll be able to access this file as well right suppose if we want to only enable so this index 1 index 2 index 3 then how we can do it eh yeah. i'll show you that uh, s3 new bucket see suppose if we want to only enable index 1 index 2 index 3 see it is following one pattern right index 1 2 3 right so what you can do you can go to uh, this bucket policy permission 
then you can go to bucket policy again so later here you can select index then comma dot html so you can put this question mark over here okay so automatically it will take one two three four like that value it will take so let me save change if i go to this object see i'm not able to access index bar i'm not able to access this file as well but i'm able to access index one index two index three but if i go to this bucket i'll be able to find one more file you can see over here see list file dot html right i will copy this copy paste list file dot html okay i'm not able to key does not access one minute list of files okay i would not be able to access this file right say suppose if we want to enable all files except this file list file so how we can do it you want to you want to like make it enable all the files except this file so how we can do it ha eh? engane where no we can we can do through bucket policy as well how we can do it hmm see i'll go to bucket policy then i will put slash bucket slash index then star okay i'll i'll show you that i'll go to permission i'll go to edit so here i will mention uh, here i'll mention index star so whatever is coming after index so that will be it but when it come to the list file so it will not it will not be public i'll go to bucket policy and i will save this policy save i'll go to this file uh, index bar dot html i'll be able to access i'll go to this file i'll be able to access definitely i'll be able to access this file also i'll be able to access i'll be able to access but when it come to this file i would not be able to access see on that way we can create any doubts index till start in markdown down 